Hello, today I will show you how to create an animated neon sign with sound effects in Adobe Photoshop, like this. We will do this using Photoshop CS4 Ohio and an awesome free animated neon font by Rip Brandy, which you can download by the link in the description. Now the first thing we need to do is register on the Rebrandy website to download this product for free. We go through the registration and verification procedure and now our download link is ready. Ok, now let's download the archive. I will skip all the waiting moments so that you don't have to wait. Now unzip the zip file and let's see what's inside. JPEG picture is suggesting where to find full video instructions for this product and the text file itself with links to video instructions. Let's take a look at one. This tutorial tells us how each symbol from this set is configured, the glow colors and animation types change. It also shows you how to customize any decorative symbol professionally and much more. There are also detailed instructions on how to use actions to customize symbols, create a complete scene with your neon sign and export the resulting animation. Just copy and paste these links into your browser's address bar and watch. Ok, let's move on. There are pre-exported videos with animation examples for neon symbol in this set just so you can familiarize yourself with them in advance. Like broken or constant switching animation type. There are also amazing background textures of black brick wall, concrete and wood. Some decorative elements for a scene such as a glass coaster and a few wires. We will need them in order to detail our scene. Two sets of Photoshop actions that I'll talk about later, PSD files with empty scenes to build your sign, a set of sound effects for each type of animation. And finally, the main thing that this product has is a full set of neon capital characters. and a small set of decorative elements and special symbols. Ok, let's go! Let's open up a 4K scene and start selecting symbols and elements for our future neon sign. So, my sign will be simple and for it I need just the letter N the letter E and the letter O. Also, I want to create a round shape around the text, so I will open big circle and horizontal line. Now let's talk about useful actions. Open the Help Action folder, select two ATN files and just drag and drop them into the action window in Photoshop. Or you can click Load Actions from the drop-down menu to add these actions. If you don't have an action window open, then first open it through the Window Actions menu or using the Alt F9 on the keyboard. These sets have presets for quickly controlling the color of the glow as well as quickly using other functions of neon symbols. Next, let's open the background we need for the scene. I'm choosing the dark brick wall. And also, let's open one of the decorative wires. Ok, now we are ready to create our scene. First, let's duplicate our circle into an empty scene, place it in folder you word here and position it. I hold 
scroll down Shift Alt and the left mouse button in order to scale the circle proportionally. Now let's add our background. And also scaled proportionally. Ok, now it's time to take a look at our timeline. If your timeline is closed, you can open it with the window timeline menu. As you can see, the layer with our background doesn't have enough duration on the timeline. So I'll just crop it by the edge and move it to the 300 frame mark. Our background is now visible throughout the animation. Now let's set up the glow animation in the scene. Open the glow types folder of our circle and turn on the visibility of the fixed broken layer instead of the first constant and let's play the animation. Ok, now let's do the same for the additional glow. This folder controls additional volumetric lightning in the scene. And let's slightly lower the opacity of the additional glow, up to 65% will be fine. The next thing we'll do is a gradient glow. So let's duplicate the glow color, first layer, I just dragged it while holding Alt key. Now choose a color, add a mask to this layer and adjust this mask using the gradient tool. You can activate the gradient tool with the G key. And then just duplicate this layer with the ALT key held down to the appropriate place among the layers in the folder additional glow. And again, lower the opacity a little for this layer. Now let's give our background a rich darker tone using the level tool. Here I make the main correction for the shadow input level and some for mid tone. Ok, let's see what we have now and play the animation. The next step is to prepare the lettering. Open the N character and use an action to set the glow animation type to broken. Next close the folder with the N symbol and duplicate it into our scene. And let's put it in a separate folder with the name sign. And then we will do the same operations for the letter E and the letter O. In the next step, we will duplicate the letter N and arrange our symbols in the folder sign in the correct order from top to bottom. Next, play the noun sign in the viewport by moving the symbols with the shift press to move along the horizontal axis. Now let's play the text in our circle. and place the sign folder under the circle. I close the tabs with letters, we will no longer need them. Ok, now let's customize the rest of the neon elements we need. Let's play the glow type fifths, broken, actions for the line, and also change the color of the glow to pink with pink glow preset. And duplicate this element into a separate group in the scene. and name it lines. Now let's assemble a pattern from these lines and we will do this with a simple duplication and scaling. Don't forget to hold Shift Alt to scale the elements proportionally. And then, don't forget to adjust the position of the reference point of the center of rotation of object so that it's convenient to rotate it.
duplicate the selected folders without pressed and let's invert them in widths. And now we will duplicate this pattern and move it down. Yeah, like that. Now let's add the wires. I'll just grab and drag the wire folder into my scene. And make a couple of wires for this sign. Ok, let's check out the resulting animation. Finally, it's time to add our sound effects. Click Add Audio button on the Timeline bottom audio track layer and select the appropriate sound effect. For us, this is type 5, broken. Don't forget that the sound effect is chosen according to the set animation type for Glow. Let's play the animation again. Sounds great, and don't forget that you can always turn up the volume if needed. This can be done in the volume settings for this layer. Yeah, that's it! Let's save our scene. Now let's export our animation to MP4 video, click the render video button and let's check the settings. The main settings that you should check here are the save location, pixel resolutions and the range for which it's better to leave the work area setting. Here is the resulting MP4 video we got. Now, let's import it back into Photoshop. As you can see, its duration is only 300 frames, that is 10 seconds. And if we want it to last longer, then we just need to duplicate layer 1 and our video will loop. And now we can export it with a length of 20 seconds. Now let's prepare it for saving as GIF. First, I resize the image from 4K to 800 to 450 pixels. You can assign any resolution in pixels. But as a rule, the lower this resolution, the faster the picture will be loaded on the page for the user. The next action, I will leave in this animation only the frames I need. For example, the first 2030 to also reduce the weight of the picture. Now, let's save it for the web. The main setting in this window that will help you control the weight of the GIF image is the number of colors. See how we change the number of colors and then the resulting weight of the image changes. Also, don't forget to set the looping option to forever to keep your animation looping non-stop. Ok, and now let's see what we got. Nice! Ok, that's all for today. At the end, I want to show the complete paid product that Rebrandy has. This is a huge animated neon sign creator with hundreds of elements to decorate your scene, which are presented at different viewing angles. A link to it in the description.
There are a lot of cool stuff which will help you create a cool detailed neon scene and now there is a welcome discount for registration, so hurry up! Thanks for watching! Bye-bye!